right, let's get this party started. I'm ready to party. Um, okay, I'm not because it's like six in the morning. Today is going to be stress test day for this brand called Natural. Not natural. I mean, it's spelled kind of weird. Natural. 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 No, they're trying to say natural. So today is stress test day for Natural. This is one of their tops. This is a size medium. I figured that if I ordered a size small, the coverage might be really small because a lot of the models on their website are really, really thin and not ridiculously enhanced like I am. So I was like, okay, we'll size up, we'll get a medium. So I'm happy with the way the medium top fits. It actually does fit circumference wise okay. It's not too loose. And I think that if I were to wear this in a size medium and like put my arms up, I probably would have like under boob or something. My one complaint is, you can probably see this on here. They do have like the, the uh, cups in here for like modesty. But the problem with that is that you end up with like a weird seam or like lumping. And I'm like, yeah, my boobs are not lumpy. Um, and I kind of don't care like as long as you can't see through the top I don't care if you see when I'm cold or turned on or whatever like shit happens nipples get hard man But I'm and now we have like bras and stuff coming out from what is it skims where there's like actual nipples in your bras already so I mean if we're gonna call attention to it Let's just take these out and call attention to it. Who cares? Um, these are the pants that I bought and they're they're ankle length not that long But I really like them and these are size small so they actually fit pretty good. I think I mean, I got a big old butt, but maybe I should have ordered a medium so that I could like scrunch them into my butt crack better. I don't know. I think overall though, they're pretty flattering. I like that it has like the dip in the back so that it kind of accentuates your waist a little bit more, maybe. I think it does anyway. Um, I think that overall they're pretty flattering. I don't have like camel toe like you get with a lot of other leggings, so that's good. But I am gonna hit the gym today and we're gonna do a stress test and make sure that these can survive squats. We shall see. Overall, I definitely feel that Natural exceeded my expectations for a brand. The quality is really good. It's nice and thick. Just thick fabric. I don't think we need to like double line it or whatever. They do give you these like pads in the little pocket area. I of course take them out, but then you can, you know, see where my nipples are hard. I don't really give a fuck about that. I used to be so self-conscious of that kind of thing, but honestly, just I, maybe it's because I'm like getting older. I'm like, I don't give a fuck about so many things, but that's definitely one of them. Like, oops, my nipples are hard, which does kind of make sense if like, you know, you're working out and your, your boobs are kind of like moving around and one of them's like up and the other one's down, you gotta like readjust. Sometimes those little nipple cover pad things help. So I get it, but there's other times when like, you know, my boob to sports bra ratio or boob to like nipple cover ratio in these sports bras doesn't quite work out for me. So then it just looks more obvious and goofy. There is a seam, and I don't know if you can see it here, but there's a seam right here that I feel like sometimes I can see when I like look in a mirror or when I look at my reflection of like a selfie video. But overall, I think that it looks cute. Um, it fits really well, it's supportive. Overall though, I feel like these, these fit really well. I'm a 34 triple D and I mean, I'm not going anywhere and they're still there. The bottoms, I feel like definitely 
fit way better than I had anticipated, especially when you like take them out of the packaging that they come in. I was like, oh my gosh, are these are these gonna fit? Are they gonna stretch? And when you first are like putting them on, you're kind of like, ooh, I don't know, man. This is like trying to shove 10 pounds of shit in a five pound bag. But once you get it on, I'm like, oh. It, like, it actually feels like there's a little bit of room, but there isn't. Like it's, I don't have like muffin top and stuff though. I could potentially get a medium, um, but I feel like that might be a little baggy or not baggy, loose. It might be a little loose, as you can see in the reflection over here. I'm like readjusting my butt. I was like, you know, the, how's the scrunch butt looking? How's the scrunch butt feeling? Oh, this is the other thing. So I'm gonna try to show this without being too obvious because I know like, this is YouTube and they're not gonna be keen on like crotch shots. So I'm gonna lower this a little bit and stand back so that you can see a little bit more of what I'm gonna talk about. Okay, I think that's good. So a lot of brands have seams like right down the center of their crotch and they're like buttery soft pants. Like there's a video that I recently posted of me working out at Girls in Venice and there's a few people that left a comment saying, hey, nice camel toe. <laughs> Thanks, by the way. Glad you think it's nice. If you'd like to see it uncovered, you know where to go. Um, in all seriousness, I like feel really self-conscious about working out in yoga pants no matter where I'm at, whether I'm at a yoga class or I'm at the gym, like you're always like, you know, moving your hoo-ha and your bits around and trying to make sure that like everything is, you know, where it belongs and it's not looking weird or camel toe-ish, you know, moose knuckle, whatever you're packing down there, you don't want it showing. That is one thing I love about this brand is that there is no center crotch seam. It's like a gusset that goes right, like scoops into the inner part of your thigh. And of course, gives you support in the crotch and privacy, but you're not having like a seam that creates camel toe. Of course, there's the seam on the butt that creates two separate butt cheeks. Hey. But I think overall, like, it's a really nice fit. And this like kind of like V taper on the back, I think that really accentuates like your waistline and well, my waistline, whatever, whoever's wearing it. I think it just kind of like gives you more of a little bit of that hourglass shape. I don't feel like these are too tight. Um, I'm usually not a fan of like the smaller waistband. Usually like, you know, the, the larger waistband that covers a lot more is a lot more flattering. And I'm like, you know, I feel like this is like the perfect cut and the perfect fit. Because a lot of times when you get like the high-waisted pants, they're too high and then the waistband is this big and it looks like you're kind of like wearing a girdle with your pants. And then you have like muffin top from here to here between your really tight sports bra that you're trying to use to like hold your boobs in. And then your pants that are kind of tight, trying to hold your waist in. And you do end up with like a little bit of something here and there. So it's not bad at all. And it's funny because uh, my trainers and some of my friends have seen me wear these and they're like, hey, I think your pants are on backwards. I'm like, trust me, <laughs> these are not on backwards. If these were on backwards, I would have the craziest freaking camel toe up the front you've ever seen. Like, it would be, <laughs> no, thank you. This is not a paid or sponsored post or video, by the way. I spent my own hard earned money on these outfits. So, like, whatever assessment I'm giving you on everything is just my honest review and opinion. And I hope that you're on the same page with me about how I feel about these. If you happen to purchase a set for yourself or for a loved one, please comment below. Let me know what you think about it. Hopefully we're on the same page about how great this brand is and hoping that it stays in business. Um, me having my own small clothing line, I know that it's extremely difficult to stay in business, keep things going, keep things fresh, keep people interested. So I totally get it. I hope that this video helps them and helps their business to continue to grow because like I said, I really love this brand. So, yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this cute little try on haul slash stress test, and I will be sure to make some more as soon as I get my next order in. Sorry, this squirrel brain. Woo! Shout out to